I am currently making um, a journal with a bit of a, a sewing theme and I have some vintage sewing patterns and I just thought I would craft along with you um, to maybe give you some ideas of how to use them. So I'm just going to move these aside, have a little look through. I've got some bits already torn up here. Uh, let's have a look. So I want to make a couple of pockets and I also want to make a couple of tags, maybe an envelope. So this is the instruction sheet that came with one of the of the patterns. And I mean, already I can see this, this would make a rather nice tag background. So uh, let's start there. Let me grab my tear ruler. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to tear this a little bit bigger than I need it to start with. And you can probably tell it's quite cold here in not so sunny Suffolk at the moment. We had um, quite a thunderstorm last night. Well, it was a very big thunderstorm, actually. Quite like that. Now, what I'm going to, I think these are about 15 centimetres by seven centimeters they're no they're not anything um in particular but i have made them fairly thin because i haven't got a whole heap of room in the journal i'm making now i'm actually i want to keep some of this edging even though it's torn so i'm going to glue which was pointless actually then inking the edge of that tag but you never know we might still might get some of it showing i'm going to glue the tag rather than the paper and then make sure I can get that paper lined up on my tag, even the torn element, and it will hopefully adhere nicely to the glue and you won't notice that it's torn. Okay, so I want to make sure I get that top piece in. I'm just going to actually slide that on. Now quite happy to have a blank spot at the top because we're gonna maybe put a little top in that or at least sew something to it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line my tear ruler up with the edge of the tag and just tear these little pieces off now it's gonna get a bit tricky actually because this is quite quite small but this pattern paper um, does it's very thin so it does tear quite nicely I might be able to get away with tearing along the tag there just these quite like that I'm obviously going to sew around the edge now I have have the front of the pattern there's a little woman I've already torn torn up I don't know whether to have, ooh, I want her over this side, I think I'm going to, oh, I don't know, let me see what other patterns I've got, Let's see what else I can add. Oh, she's quite elegant, isn't she? Hmm, they're a bit big, they might make tags on their own, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'll take the pattern out first would be a good idea. I'm just going to use my scissors kind of like a letter opener and tear around this envelope. I mean this if you'd have if I'd have done it the other way would make you could cover a journal with that that would look awesome wouldn't it? No that's not going to work. I did try it on the other pattern. It's a bit, it doesn't tear very well. Although these packets are quite fragile, they have been fairly well made in most cases. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for this elegant looking lady over here and just tear her out. I don't wanna 
I actually might tear off from the bottom so my tearing hand is the right side. Now what I don't want is to get a random arm in that, that would look a bit odd. But um, I, I can, you know, I can see these in quite a lot of places. I, I, I find them in a lot of places. They're fairly easy to pick up here in the UK. Um, lots in charity shops and vintage shops and things like that. They're not a difficult thing to find here. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be too difficult to find anywhere else. Um, especially the ones that are not in perfect condition. And they, you know, just kind of make perfect ephemera, really, especially those, you know, the covers. But there's every part of the pattern you can use. Yeah, I quite like that, but I still think she needs a little something behind her. Um, let's see. This is obviously some of the pattern. It's brilliant tissue paper. Okay. Don't want it that big. I think. I like that top piece actually. Okay, now um, I'm gonna change to a good old prick stick if I can find the thing. I always get the wrong end to take top off. So I'm gonna just print stick around here. I mean it's gonna be it's gonna be sewn. I'm just gonna add that. Print stick is definitely a good glue for this pattern paper. It is just like a tissue, it's very thin. I think I'm going to have to change my plan and actually cut the knee edge around this tag. Now I've added the tissue paper. And then we will, like I said, once I've done this, I'm going to sew it. I'll save the sewing till the end because obviously I want the glue to be nicely dry. And... Um, Just gives it a little bit of, a little bit something else. I've also got a, a few pieces of sewing pattern with text on that I've taken off, so we can have a look at maybe layering it even further. But I do, I like, I like doing things in threes. It seems to work well. So we've got the, obviously the background. Just have some of that showing the other side. And we might might cover her a little bit with the... Oh, she looks a bit pregnant, actually. Very little bit pregnant. Just the way she's standing. Okay, and what have I got? No, I don't think so. I think I'm happy with that. I like that tag as it is. Right, I'm going to do... Um, this is like about 10 centimetres by 10 centimetres. And I want to make... I do want to make a pocket with this. Where's the let me find the piece that I was using just a minute ago? It has gone. Okay, let's have a look. Right. Quite like this with the measurements. So I'm gonna make this. And this is just the back, the back of one of the patterns that I've just used the front of. I mean, you can absolutely utilise every single element of, of this. So that's going to be, yeah. Right, I'm going to take this section, this square section here. But it looks fantastic in collage. It's just, I 
think you could pretty much out of maybe one or two patterns make all of the ephemera you needed for, for a journal including, including the cover. Right, I'm going to grab my inking mat because I'm going to use that to go around the edge on this. I think it's a little bit too white. Just a bit. Where's my brush? There it is. Okay. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. The cat was having a crazy time before I filmed, so I would have filmed a little bit earlier. Um, but the cat was was uh, playing with her bead. Oh, that bead. It is more we play with the bead than she plays with the bead because we're the ones always on our hands and knees looking for it. Um, I kid you not, it is a... Uh, oh, sorry, one of my bowls. Now, I actually quite like this lady for this and I know she's only half a lady. She's got no legs. But I've already torn those off probably by accident random piece of hand I do like the way this paper tears as well actually it has, it gives it a really kind of feathery edge it's just that vintage paper oh seem to have removed some of her hair maybe she has to go over here and oh where was that tape measure I picked this up from a vintage shop yesterday it's a paper tape measure so that's pretty cool that would look good I was going to use this for some of the edging on the pages and I, I will show you um, something I did do without trying to give too much away she's not perfect certainly not perfectly cut out but but she's she's pretty cute okay so let's just stick her down rest of her legs off shortly. I do think I want this here. That's quite cool. Again, it will be sewn, sewn through and round, but it's really nice when you find, if you're working on something, can you just manage to find the right things for the right job at the right time it's usually you just finish a journal and then everything you could have used pops up doesn't it yeah I quite like that you don't see as much of her but I'm okay with that and let's see if this would work now yeah yeah I think so I mean, some of these sewing patterns I've picked up for like 50 pence at charity shops and knitting patterns. Again, they would be just as good. I have quite a lot of knitting patterns, actually. I didn't think to try those, but then it's a, it's a sewing theme journal. So oh, I've covered her hand up anyway after all of the effort trying to <laughs> tear around her hand neatly. OK, just going to trim that little bit off there. I'm not going to trim the sides. So I'm going to sew around the edge of that one too. Um, let's do let's do another tag. Um, we'll go for I quite like these dresses on this one. That's quite nice, and I like the number. So I'm going to tear tear down there. So 
see if I can get that number in. Yeah, I probably can. What I'm going to do is tear this side. Oh, I'm sorry about the board because I've now removed my. I've now removed the cloth from being directly on my my desk, which is a dark wood dining table. Um, so because I'm in the process of filming the course to keep it consistent, I I covered a board with the oil cloth, um, and unfortunately it keeps sliding around. It didn't to start with, but I think because it's got hot, it's just it's warped, so it's not ideal. Um, really. <laughs> now I've got this pattern, which is really old, and this gorgeous colour. I think I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use those scissors. Look at those, that's cool. I'm going to use this edge. Just try and make sure I do get those scissors on there and that number. That might look pretty cool. Yep, I'm liking that. So... I actually do want, I think, two layers to get this pattern through. So I'm going to go back to my print stick, but I'm going to grab my my mat, fluffy jump up with tissue paper. Not ideal. <laughs> now I'm going to just remove some of that print stick. Uh, probably haven't torn that correctly either. Now I've got sticky fingers. You'd normally kind of wash them in between this stuff, but when you're filming, it's just kind of go go go, isn't it? You don't you don't do that so much. Now I think I'm going to add this to the top of that. Make a fold in that. I would like to say things normally go a lot better when I'm not filming, and they do as a whole, but just recently, not so much. <laughs> not so much. I actually quite wonder if I can join that line up. That would look quite good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. So just roughly cut that bottom off. Probably not explaining things quite as well as I would normally, but um apart from the patterns, you kind of I'm just what does Wendy call it? A seat of your pants. Seat of your pants crafting. Okay, let's see if we can line that up again now. And at the side. Okay, but I still want to add this over the top in the right place so I can get the scissors as well as, so I could line those lines up again or I could stagger them this time. I'm really not sure. I think, I think I want them lined up. That would look quite nice, I think. So with this, I'm going to, see, rolling around, everything's just doing its own thing try my hardest not to rip this and sorry keep remembering to speak up <laughs> okay right get that out of 
away for a moment. I think I'm it's not quite it's not quite joined. Didn't quite make it. It's not far off though. It's not bad. I'm just cutting off the extra. I'm doing it over here because I do have a little pile of rubbish just off camera. I always do it over here because I can just sweep it straight into my bin. I don't yet have a wooden floor that I can sweep it onto. That would just be so cool. I really do like the idea of just chucking rubbish straight onto the floor. Although I'm pretty sure I wouldn't do it. Okay, you can probably haven't lined this up quite as well as I would have liked and I definitely think this tag still needs something else. That can you, you can kind of see the pattern underneath the scissors there and the number 22 but you can still see the dress and the number four but I didn't quite line it up as well at the top. Oh well, what are you going to do? Now, um, I suppose another lady would be quite nice. She's quite good because she's on her own. Oh, oh that's just the back. I always have, have trouble storing these after I've done them or I've used them. I do have that the lady there. I could cut cut some of her off. Just have her. The thing is I do have to remember I'm sewing. I'm gonna be sewing. Oh I quite like that though. Hips twenty nine no waist twenty nine hips forty. I don't know if that means anything to any of you guys. Doesn't ah oh. I like that too. That is quite nice though, isn't it? That whole butter, butterick. Hmm. I think it needs a person. The lovely lady in yellow might be might be the girl for this job if I can again I should probably take the pattern out and this lady's already had a bit of a rip through her head so I'm not too worried if I tear her Probably should have taken this apart much better than I did. Okay. Um, need to go round her head a little bit. Kind of thinking she'll go in the middle. So we might actually lose some of the detail we've just tried to keep not ideal not ideal you should either have kind of chest and shoulders or full body you should never really crop someone the way I've cropped this picture but it's not a real photograph it's an, it's an illustration so I think I think we're okay with that quite like it I'm just gonna lose a little piece of this so I don't lose those scissors quite so much 
And I'm sure if you guys have one of these vintage patterns and you're not filming, you will be able to do a fab job. It's kind of different for me, not doing something nature, nature related, but it's quite nice. I actually really like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I wonder if I could... No, that would look a bit odd, wouldn't it? Right, so we've got two tags and one pocket. I think I'm going to go ahead and do an envelope now. It's a little brown. I don't know what size these are. They're just fairly small. Not much bigger than a seed packet, really. Let's see what we can do with this. I can always ink the back off. Oh, I was going to... Um, this strip here with the tape measure on, um, in the journal, I've actually torn that and added it to a couple of page edges. It looks quite good. Actually, I'm quite pleased with how that turned out. So that's just something you could think about when you're using patterns, because obviously we've seen it a lot, haven't we, where um, we use the pattern, um, you know, we, we take this, for example, I've done it myself. I've made pages out of the pattern paper. Um, I've made a, a several of them, or I think the last one I made was a while ago now. I made a, a journal for Rebecca um, and I made her pattern page out of that. But what you can do is kind of um, gather this up like so, or you can scrunch it with a more random look if you want. Um, sew down that and then add this to the page edge which you know there are a couple in the journal I'm making I'm not gonna lie but um, it's done quite often and I thought it was quite nice to use the outside of the pattern for that I like that center back place to fold that's quite nice too isn't it we can add that Yeah, quite like those layered together. Um, that black line there is a little bit on the heavy side. I do love using this. It's slightly thicker than a tissue paper, but it is very nice to use. Still got that little black piece there. Okay. So I think, how can I do this? I think I'm going to tear because I do want to keep the edge of my envelope. Okay. Right, so, so we'll do this piece. I'm gonna um, add it off. That's the back. Make sure I glue this the right way around and make sure I have my envelope the right way up. This is why I don't usually use tissue paper and things like that in my videos. Um, I just feel like I'm not the most delicate person in the world. I'm actually going to just trim that little piece there. Right, now our... Uh, Eight belt size twelve. So 
So I'm going to just literally tear along that dark line. I think that's going to be fine. And I'm just going to tear inside that line. I'm going to have a little bit hanging over, but that's okay. Just hope I can get not miss any with the glue. It's very difficult with this paper. I do like the blue Yoohoo stick, but I haven't seen that around here for a long time. Actually, I don't think it was a Yoohoo. I think it was a different brand. It's probably why I haven't seen it for a long time. Because I haven't been looking for the right thing. Right, let me give that a bit more of an ink around there. Quite like that, that's quite nice. Like the effect. Um, obviously, I probably will sew just around the edge here and up the flap, um, but I need a little, oh, I've got that little scrap that I had from earlier. Maybe another piece. Let's have a little look what we got here. You should use soft or crisp fabric for this pattern. Oh, I don't know if I want to cover up my lumber or not. I quite like that. No, 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 it's not right. I like the red. I like having that little pop of red on there. Just having a little look through the rest of these. There's nothing that jumps. Oh, I've got a bit of text over here. That must have come out of something else. Pattern pieces shade in the layout are to be placed printed side down. Maybe this needs a label. That's a little bit big. So I need a piece of text that's a, piece, a bit smaller. Maybe I will use the ruler from here. I'm just tearing that. It's quite easy to separate because that seal, the join in that envelope is fairly, fairly sturdy. I'm just going to line this up. Tear that. I've got a feeling this might need a label. I do, I think it needs a label. I wonder if I should have this on the back. I think I am going to attach this to the back, so I'm actually no further forward on the front now. I just think this looks, it just looks right. I have a feeling we might have some rain coming, so it might get a bit loud and maybe even some thunder. We had a few little rumbles this morning, but didn't come to anything. I like it, I like it a lot. I still need something to go. Have I got an envelope that I've already torn up with the word simplicity in it? Because I quite like that. Or oh, barcode. That might be quite cool, might not it? Yeah, I think I'm going to add the barcode. So these are things that I probably wouldn't, as a rule, think of adding. But once you 
look at the patterns. There's so many different elements that you can use. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I just want to back that. So I'm going to ink this. I do have some um, a bit of a haul actually that I'd quite like to share with you at some point. Um, uh, I will have to do it in a separate video because for the life of me I've forgotten I think it's got paper in it and it's I think it might have uh, yeah oh I'm not 100% sure who it was from but it was a vintage shop I found uh, a long time ago on Etsy never really been able to purchase anything um, but I saw an Instagram post recently and that sent me over to her shop and then um, I ended up purchasing a couple of things that I want to share she's she's got some amazing vintage items in her shop and also um, I found somebody else who has lots of packs of vintage papers and things like that so I purchased some paper and then I was led astray by Liz, Mrs. Cog, hi Liz, um, and purchased some washi, which I have had no intentions of buying and I really don't use that much of it, but you know, Liz was got some washi, it's amazing. So I was like, oh, and then she sent me the link. What are you gonna do? You're gonna look, aren't you? You're gonna look. And then you're going to go, wow, I'll use that. I will use that washi, so I'm going to buy it. And I probably won't. I'll try. I like that. I think that will look cool once it's got the stitch around it. I might just ink that up a little bit more. There we go. Four little pieces of ephemera ready for the journal I'm making. Um, just an idea you know grab your vintage patterns there is just there's so much as my lecturer at uni used to say it's got a lot of licks there's a lot of things you can do with it um you can you can end up with tiny you know loads of these amazing little pieces of ephemera that are perfect for collages and these are not bits that I've actually tried to, to pull off they're just bits that are left over from what I've used every piece of these patterns I think are usable so grab yourself one and see what you can come up with thanks for watching see you later bye